Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Rice Owls and the Houston Cougars. Number three is, has a way of getting the most out of his teammates on the floor because of his senior leadership. Hey, that leadership he brings is absolutely critical to this team's success. The Cougars will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Cougars should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. Number one, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Next, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Third, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. He goes to the line for the first time. Nope. Gets the second. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Booker receives the ball. Dick, not a bad drop, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Great shot. They look to get it to the inside, and he'll kick it back outside. Trying to go inside. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. For the bucket, goes in. Watch your head, young fella. On the outside, Manley handles the feed. Whitehead fakes the shot. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Parker receives the pass. Trying to feed inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Drains it. That was absolutely phenomenal. Just lighten it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. Perfectly executed. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. There's the pick. Elam comes up with it. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They work the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. 
And he scores despite the hack. Takes the pass in the paint. And now they'll bring it up. Let's it fly. Tickles a twine. Puts it up. Buried it. From the top of the key. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. it up. The shooting guard handles the pass. Postel picks up the foul. First personal foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. There they come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of play. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor and they stripped him. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They look like they're having a blast. Working it around the perimeter. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Turnaround jumper, and he missed. Easy one. Kicks it out. Leans in. Parker makes the finger roll. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Controlling the ball. He's going nowhere. Going ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Stolen ball. Transition opportunity coming up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Oh. 
with the pair. Hits the first. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the rejection. And coming the other way on a break. Harm and foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Fakes the shot. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Gave it up. Looking for a screen on top and got it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Shoots. Makes the shot. 80, 40. There's a double team waiting there. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries to get the D to bite. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Here's a double team. Postel is feeling great out there right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. That's good. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Sinks it. Both teams looking to get things going here. For two, perfectly executed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Way off target. Up and inside. Hard foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. shots cashed it in rice are on a nice little run at the moment partner 
they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He misses the second. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this isn't how you win ball games, guys. Hits that one. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? For the bucket. In and out. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. They still don't score. And off the mark. He takes it away. The ball goes out of play. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He uses the shot fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The ball goes out of bounds. student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. He launches the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Here's the offensive drop step by low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Way off target. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Ziggy V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the shot. He doesn't miss that opportunity either. From left of the circle. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. The skip pass is picked off. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. They're having a rough time getting them to drop, lad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. Looks at the three. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. the top of the key. Sinks the shot. <laughs> On the dribble. Gives it up. Gave it up. Double team now. Bad angle. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression.
That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Rice are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. On the dribble, gives it up, launches a three. He missed. He unloads a three. Nice shot. Looking for a good shot on the inside. And they get the turnover. Now they work it around the perimeter. the top of the key off the rim and no good college basketball is special to me for that reason right there Dick you're right the student sections the bands and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a six man there's the screen up on top Tries for two, perfectly executed. There's the trap. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They'll work it around the arc. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For two, perfectly executed. Gave it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in trouble for a position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Puts it up, looking for contact. Makes it. He looks for the bomb. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. On the outside, defense giving some room. Three. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Shot clock is dead. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. 
Looking for the foul. He buries the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets it to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. He wants a three. It sticks. At the half, the Owls are behind by three. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Houston shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. From the baseline. Got it. From right in the circle. Way off target. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Looks at a three. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. <laughs> Stolen away. They get out on the break for the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. That's 12 unanswered. Good job defensively. And back they come the other way. Trying to draw the foul. He gets that one to fall. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I tell you, defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. Great shot block right there. And some good movement on the offensive side. Almost lost the basketball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the bucket. And the ball goes out of bounds. On the dribble, gives it up. Thinks about the shot. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. From the top of the key. Buried it. I can watch that one again all night long. of the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. It's stolen. Trying to run the other way. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Sinks it. a personal foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Houston are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He puts up the three ball. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. Step out on that screener. Jumps into the defender. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With the free throw. First shot is good. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Fakes a jumper. They move it into the front court. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He shoots from the angle. Houston are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Work 
the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries a three ball. He drains it. Spacing. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up, tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. You gotta let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. Gave it up. Steals a pass. Penetrates and kicks back. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now the high screen. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Picked off. These fans seem to be thrilled with what's going on right now in front of them. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Up fake. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Taken away. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Basket falls despite the contact. Watch out, five-second call approaching. Pump fakes. On the outside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. For two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Side. For the bucket, and in and out. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He gets the board. They work it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. Those long arms 
trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. There's the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dump it inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball, grabs the board. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Had a momentary look from three-point land. Booker picks up. He gets the foul, and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He is going to the line. Got to make the freebies. And, Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They got to start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. Manly pounded up. Got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. I ain't backing down. He's his crime. Number 34 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep right, bench, right. Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Picked out of the air. Blocks it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. Parker draws the personal. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. With the free one. Misses the first shot. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You're too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. Second shot is good. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up, fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He intercepts it. They work the perimeter. He rejects it. Looking for a good shot. Look at that spacing. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There they come with a double team to stop it. He attempts the three. 
That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. From three-point territory, way off target. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Defense doing a great job crushing the basketball. Up and inside. On the outside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Shoots it. Rice have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The high screen. Robs him of the ball on the inside. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here they go into the break. Goes up for two. He gets it to fall. it go off the rim and no good now they work it around the perimeter the student body is rocking tonight isn't it great Brad fans are pleased now given the fact that this game is really out of reach it's almost an expectation Brad you're supposed to win your home games but winning by this amount my goodness Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Top of the circle. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. He takes the three. Goes. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. And the ball goes out of play. 
Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Six seconds on the shot clock. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. From the top of the circle, he gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Gave it up. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Houston showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.